Hello, my name is Sean and I work with Booth Masters. Today I'm going to be showing you a general wiring guide for the 7 camera array. So as you can see, there's 7 cameras. If you were to multiply this by two different systems or three, or however many you get, um, this is going to be what everything does in its most basic form. So you know generally what each thing does and um, where your everything goes. So there are 7 cameras. Now let's narrow that down. Each camera has three cords, so it's just the same thing repeated three times, or seven times, or however many uh, cameras you have in your system. So uh, this right here is the sync cord. This cord goes to the Esper trigger box right here. Um, there's one more box behind it, which is the power box. That cord is going from the bottom of the camera to the power box itself, and the cord kind of looks like this right here, actually. Um, so it's just a spin dial that uh, connects into the ports on the power box itself. And then the trigger box has uh, the cameras uh, associated with it. Um, it doesn't necessarily matter which order you put these uh, cords in, um, as long as they all are uh, in it's their own individual port and they're secure. So the trigger box is important that you have it in blue mode uh, you can tell the difference between the two because um, one has this power emblem and one has this square emblem. Um, I don't know if you can tell right there in the video, but basically the, why, the reason why you want to know the difference is because the trigger boxes can also go in green mode and it'll look a lot like the um, power box. So um, it's important that uh, you know the difference. Um, otherwise you'll get confused when you're starting to wire this yourself or if you already have an existing one um, and you're trying to figure out where the problem is, you want to look for this box right here usually. Uh, the power box itself, um, if the camera goes out, that's when you would check this box to make sure that the, all the camera cords are plugged into the box correctly. Um, but anyways, uh, so the trigger box has power supplied to it via a USB-C. Uh, that just plugs into this uh, power strip right here. So make sure that the power strip that you have is either the one we link in this uh, in the guide for you, or um, uh, if you're doing it yourself, just make sure it has enough uh, plug-in ports um, for at least six different port or six different cords, as well as at least two USB spots. So this particular one has eight plug-in spots. We don't use all of them, as you can see. Um, so. Uh, I'll go through each of these cords right now. Uh, this cord right here is actually supplying the power to the Esper power pack right here. Um, this is actually the brick that goes is associated with this um, box right here. Uh, so this is supplying the power to this box to give the power to the cameras. And then um, that's again duplicated right here. Um, and the cord that's going from here up and over that's actually supplying power to our flash, which I can show you that here in a second. So there you go. That right there is the cord supplying power to the flash. This right here is the sync cord. We'll go ahead and follow that down. So that comes down right here, as you can see. Um, and it goes over, around, and it plugs into port six of the Esper trigger box. Uh, it is very important that you make sure that you plug that into port six right there. Um, so another important cord to go over, I guess, is the cord that allows these two trigger boxes on the left and the right side to communicate with each other. That cord is right here. It goes into the input port. It's just a 3.5 millimeter aux cord with the same 3.5 millimeter end, but the difference is, is it goes from the input port to port one on this side, so on the right side. Um, and then uh, after that, we have the USB hub right here. This USB hub has seven USB ports. Um, each of the seven cameras are attached to it. Basically, it's just allowing the computer to pick up all seven cameras or 14 or however many cameras you have. Um, so that cord is just coming over and around and plugging into an available USB spot. Now, this is powered by this pack right here. And then obviously you need power for your computer, which I probably already showed. 
But other than those chords, um, there's only like one last thing that we have to go over, and that's that's the um, array for you. Uh, so the last thing that we have to go over is this receiver system. Um, basically, I'm going to go over this system in another video more in depth, but it's just the trigger that releases all seven cameras, um, and it's done by these trigger boxes. So the trigger boxes are all eventually linked into this. Uh, the way that's done is by that link that we did before, uh, and then it's also due to us plugging this into the input port of the box on the right, and it allows the two trigger boxes to sync up and receive, and all seven cameras will snap it at once, creating that jump and freeze effect, or pose and freeze. Um, we like to jump because it's a lot more fun and it gets guests more engaged, but that is everything. Uh, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask and you can reach us anytime at Boothmasters. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you for the next one.